Heavenly High Pixie and all people, everybody that we all love. Um, we're soon in the age of Aquarius now, February. February the 2nd is a, a portal open all over planet Earth to raise the frequency, the love vibration in all life through the DNA. Uh, many went into emotional turmoil, others uh, rode high on it, uh, and that carried forward to help us all lighten up before we go into photon. So now to 12 for the second, that's today. Um, here uh, we've got two paintings that I painted way back in 1999. They were painted for today, more so. Uh, it's, this one here is the Love Boat Rescues Titanic Society. And here in our madness, in the Mad Theatre, we, we've, uh, in our private foundation built on love, we've created the Love Boat. And the Love Boat sails on the crest of the waves goes straight through any storms. We're at a Titanic society that most people are on and don't realise. And we can see where it is. We know the story in 1913 where it all went ass up and straight down. Well, it's right into that process now, very fast. So all the government and, and officials are stuck on that boat and they try to invade like pirates onto what we've got here in the love boat, trying to tell us what to do. Orders and put mandates, mandates are only request and orders and we don't take orders from anybody uh, we on the love boat we have um, recommendations and guidelines over here rules and re regulations so we don't play that game so this these pirates have no jurisdiction on our love boat and if they invade they're like pirates and they'll be dealt with severely in our case one million dollar fine if they invade our space without being invited on um, so that's the story because they're trying to chuck a few fines at us, which is not fine at all. It's not applicable. Um, so they just go back. We don't have a contract or we don't consent with those fools. The stupid, foolish idiots. Um, so it's all coming to a head. We've got Wellington now and all over the world people are standing up, protesting, uh, not just against mandates, against the whole insanity, uh, uh, the hor horrific insanity really. So this is all I'm seeing it coming to a, a crunchy head, headline leading from the 17th of February into the 22nd. The 22nd um, is the day of the Great Awakening as I see it and have lived it. So, uh, and that's the real awakening that will carry forward. Wake up to yourself, you know. Those, Ed Alan, Alan, Alan Poe, he would say, die if you want to, you misguided puppets. And, and this is where people are going to realise where they're sitting um, and falling. There's another painting here, both done at the same time, within a week or so. Uh, this is the upside down perception painting. Um, and it's been like that for thousands of years. So up here, what the world needs now is love, sweet love. Uh, it's all melt, it's a big meltdown now. And we've got the children of the world of all ages, from one to a hundred. Um, these are the hardy spirited ones. Uh, and they're up there giving out the messages and, and all, the, all the guidance and trying to help society. So it's the southwest corner of WA, Tasmania and New Zealand where you've got Christchurch, Hobart and Perth, all will be aligned. And they are the three safest places in the world to be, as we will soon see and, and, and live for. So, yeah, so that's all happening here. This is all happening. Um, we, we go by the common law, the natural law. It's God's law, um, and that's how we run our boat. Not the maritime, um, the clause of the government laws. Totally non-applicable to what we do. So these stupid, foolish idiots this so-called government, big business government limited. It's a corpse, it's a dead corpse. Uh, they got nothing to do with us, so it's non-applicable, non-avoid for us. So yeah, we carry on regardless here. Some people think we're closed, but no, we're alive and well, we sing and dance. So following on from our upside down perception painting and the Love Boat Rescues Titanic Society, uh, 2007, um, I created these two paintings, which are uh, appropriate and relevant for today also. Uh, this here is the end of the mainstream and currently right now it's all been raw flush. 
And you know how quick it goes down when you flush that button. So um, this covers all, all the aspects of society in education, health, relationships, consumerism, politics, uh, sports and recreation. Uh, and it's all, getting, it's all going down to the black hole in the Royal Flush. When you're going down the black hole, there's always something good comes out the other end of it. And this is, uh, this is a toilet seat. But if you've got your head in a toilet, many people do, um, you can go upstream like a rainbow trout and there's a way out. So you fly out of that and you, you'll go into the birthing of our topia. And I'm seeing this coming to its fruition from the 22nd of the 2nd. 2022. Uh, in the birthing of our topia, it's a divine vagina giving birth with a peace pebble rose around it, opposed to the toilet seat. And in there we have divine will, we have divine truth, divine love and peace, we have divine um, balance and harmony, and we have divine um, tolerance and patience. Um, and in here, we got we cover all the various aspects parallel to what was in the mainstream. But most important up the top there is um, what the world needs now is love, sweet love. And love express, as shown here, is the key to life. And, and these hands out reaching are coming in and coming out, in and out of every breath that we take. And, and this is the peace element there's a new government, um, so here we are. So we, we're giving birth to a new day and a new way, all through our divine divinity. We're, we're standing strong together as one family, one people, one love, one family. Here is the, um, this is our sovereignty flag. We don't, the, um, it goes right back to 1832, and, but it's also now got a metatronic um, additional power in it. We've got our, our red cross of, as they say, the King George. Well, King George was good because he, he based with the Maori king and was king to king. And those two agreed on, on the sovereignty of New Zealand and we weren't, they weren't to let it go. It wasn't popular with all the kings throughout Europe and he was spat upon in one thing. But at least, and that's what they represent with the Red Cross of George. But it's more than that. It is in, on a metatronic essence of divine love. It's love, light, live, and law. And here, many people don't understand the full essence. Your, your, your four stars there, these are the eight, eight pointed stars of the, the Maori chiefs, eight out of the 12, who stood strong on the sovereignty. And the four corners here, um, one is the, in Asia, one is the Americans, one is the Africa, and the other would be Europe. So that's representing the world there. We have a fractal here coming through, and this is the inner and outer breath of divine, which is in all people on their inner and outer breath. So um, if, in between each breath that we have, every minute or so, we pause for no time, all time, and then we're always in love and peace, and this is what the fractal is. Micro, macro, macro, micro, in and out, breath. So that's the flag, and it's a mighty powerful flag. I'd like to see all these on most vehicles driving around the countryside. We have several all over the building here to let people know when you come here to the safe heavenly haven, we live in our sovereignty. We don't give up our sovereignty.